Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, first and foremost, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the opportunity to meet again. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Alhamdulillah, uh, for this episode, uh, I would like to share uh, a sahih hadith uh, from the Jami at Tamizi 5th, chapter 269, Hadis 2166. Ibn Abbas narrated that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Allah's hand is with the jamaah." Uh, this uh, hadis reflects the help of Allah, the blessings of Allah, uh, is when we work in groups. And teams in organization. However, the groups and teams will be able to get the results or the good outcomes when the group achieve level of cohesion, level of bonding, a level of cohesiveness. So, what actually contributes to the group cohesiveness or group bonding? Uh, number one, we have to look at in terms of the interdependency. Uh, so this is the way whereby we we wanted to uh, complement, to complete, and also to perfect each other. Or takmil wal istikmal. Number two, the size. Okay, if the size is too big, it becomes messy. If the size is reasonable. The bonding is better. Number three, the homogeneity. Okay, homogeneity means the commonality uh, of those people in the group. And number four, the stability of the members in terms of they are very well known. They know each other, and also they can have a good understanding in in terms of what are the do's and the don'ts among them. And then the location, we refer also to the context, okay, the ecosystem that you have in the context that uh, too far or context that is fall apart, they might not be able to increase the cohesiveness. The status, yeah, in other words, if people are willing to put aside uh, any uh, what we call uh, social status in the Because if not, then people can work together. If people start to differentiate in terms of their social status, uh, the elites, the royalty, and whatnot, then the gap will be there. Okay. Uh, similarly, the leadership is very important in order to uh, to get along with other people in terms of a moderate leadership, not to be extreme. At the same time, also the extra pressure sometimes. Give the rooms for the people to work together in order to shield them, to protect them from the external pressures. And also in competition, once we in the competition, we tend to work together because we have bigger enemies outside there that we need to outcompete or we have to protect ourselves from their effect. Insha Allah, may Allah bless all of us. May Allah grant us with the blessings, and may Allah help us to be in the jamaah. With that, wabillahi taufiq. Dayasalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.